All right, guys, what's going on? How is everyone doing today? So I figured we would start off with the uh, important topics today. And uh, number one being the McDonald's lawsuit regarding ice cream machines, because I think this is what's on everyone's mind here. So is anyone not familiar with what's going on with McDonald's here? Because uh, has anyone here went to McDonald's and not had an issue with the ice cream machines ever? I happened to come across an article a couple months back regarding why that happens. This is what was going on with it. There was a third party company that makes their ice cream machines. What they actually put into it was a chip that didn't allow for other companies to fix it because it was something just made by the singular company and they didn't train anyone to be able to fix it. So even though they own the equipment, they couldn't fix it themselves. And it was basically a means to get them to send it into the company. Now, it went deeper than that. So they launched a uh, lawsuit against them because only their techs could come out and fix it. Only their techs knew how to fix the actual equipment that was with it because they couldn't even take it to another third party company to actually get them fixed. McDonald's just won the lawsuit. Let me see if I can find the actual thing here. Press the cone icon of the screen on the Taylor C602 digital ice cream machine, he explains, then tap the buttons that show a snowflake and a milkshake to set the digits on screen to five, then two, then three, then one. After that precise series of no fewer than 16 button presses, a menu magically unlocks. So this is their button press that magically unlocks it. This is the cheat code to give you access to change the actual amounts of like sugar settings and everything flowing through the machine. After years of studying this complex machine and its many ways of failing, O'Sullivan remains most outraged at this notion. The food equipment giant Taylor sells the McFlurry squirting devices to the McDonald's restaurant owners for about $18,000 each, yet it keeps the machine's inner working secret from them. So these are $18,000 machines that they don't tell them how to operate them, change them, or anything. What the fuck? So they were trying to keep like industry secrets, but it was also causing them to not be able to repair it. So this is where it goes into it of where the lawsuit really came in. There's been a full investigation of their actual business practices associated with this and McDonald's just won the lawsuit. So now they have to pay back. So here's the final kicker of the whole thing. Taylor was also caught buying. There was one little third party unit that you could put into the machines that would allow them to function still. And it was a company decided to make things. So I don't know, we'll use cars as an example. So you buy a car, you can take it back to the dealer to get fixed, or you can buy like a third party fuel pump or something like that. That's basically a company started making pieces for these. Well, they didn't have rights to do so from Taylor. And since Taylor was holding the industry secrets of every bit of it, they tried to prevent this company from doing anything by literally strong arming them and buying all the parts up so that the McDonald's companies could not use them. So they took the time to spend the money to buy up all the parts so they still couldn't repair their stuff. And that's where it became a problem where the lawsuit really kicked off. And here's the thing is I wanted to bring this up though when Twyla told me about it because it's still relevant to what we're doing because this fits into copyright laws which carry over into DMCA laws and things like that of really even though you own something you don't own full rights to it because this is proving it right here and then it's also talking about how a company can literally buy out the pieces from a third party preventing you from being able to make cheaper repairs on your system just to prevent that so that your techs and everyone else can still make the money that blows my mind 